take a look and see what's in this week's box. What have we got? Oh, I can see. Oh, the most delicious recipe of all beautiful mauve and pink and silvery toned flowers and foliage. Let's take a closer look. The foliage element this week, what we'll be playing with, is uh, the box um, hedge or phytostrum. Um, yeah, the green sort of, I suppose, luscious, shiny foliage which will add fullness to your arrangement. We've got the silver suede or dusty miller. You've also got the beautiful snapdragons. We've got also the fragrant Baronia, which is fantastic in such luscious pink tones. And the very underrated Australia. Let's um yeah, let's create an arrangement together. First up we're going to start with the foliage element, which um in this particular box we've got the box head. Um so what you want to do is just take down the stem so you've got multiple pieces on one um on each step that way then you're going to have fullness uh, for your arrangement. The vase that I've chosen to use today is just a standard um, vase. It's about 20 centimetres in uh, height and the whole or the neck of the vase is approximately uh, 10 centimetres in diameter. Oh, looks like we're going to get the weather. Um, so yeah, you want to make sure you've got a nice even canopy, um, a good base will create a great arrangement. <laughs> Next we're going to work with the fantastic Baronia. Beautiful in its colour and it's got some really gorgeous little individual flowers that sort of flower right up to the tips of the, um, the stems. I'm going to give them a quick trim and place them amongst the Giving the vase a little turn after you've um, inserted the flowers is a really good, also another good tip. That way then you'll add really nice symmetry to your arrangement. The next flower we're going to work with is the fantastic snapdragon. These are in a beautiful pink colour. Um, as a girl I used to play with them in the garden and they actually, um, if you just squeeze them either side, they're like little individual um, flowers that um, open and close. Some basic conditioning of the snapdragons is you just want to remove the lower section of the foliage, anything that's going to fall um, in that water level. And give each of the stems a quick trip, quick trim I should say, and um, in they go. Next we're going to work with a very um, underrated, I'd say, Ostromeria. When they're in full flower, they come in a vast um, collection of flowers and there's multiple individual flowers on each stem. So really good value. Again, just remove any of the leaves or foliages that um, are not looking amazing or are going to sit in the, the lower section of the water and then just insert them a little twist amongst the other blooms. The final element that's going to add a really beautiful contrast to this week's arrangement is uh, the Dusty Miller or Silver Suede. It's got a beautiful velvet to touch quality and add a really pop of um, soft, subdued colour to the arrangement. Again, if there's any lower leaves that aren't um, looking their best or need to be removed because they're going to fall below the water level, just snip them off and nestle the stems just at the neck of the vase. Sometimes, um, Silver Suede or Dusty Miller, just needs that little bit of extra help just at the vase, um, the vase level. Give it a quick um, reposition, make sure you're happy with all of the stems and there you have it. That's this week's beautiful pink vase. Have fun! <laughs>